Ooh. Ooh. It's John T. Boy. Yo, what's going on everybody? It's your boy John T. Welcome back to the channel. I'm finally back with a new video. I know it's been a while. Your boy just been busy. But um, yeah, for this video, we're going to have another episode of which VST is better. Uh, we're going to be talking about the three VSTs that uh, I've been uh, I've been wanting to do this video on. The uh, Serata sample, um, the CRH sampler by Waves, and there's another one called Momentum by Big Fish Audio. I've been meaning to get my hands on that for a while. I heard it was free. My boy Av McCree uh, did a review on it and I heard that it has a lot of, it, it comes with a lot of tricks up the sleeve. And some people say this is a Serato killer. I don't know, I've been dealing with Serato sample for like for the last two years. Thanks to my boy DDS, the legendary producer who's behind Days Loaf Try Me record, multi-platinum hit. Um, he, he came out with a video tutorial on how to use that. And ever since I brought it and tried to give it a shot, I fell in love with it and it changed my life when it comes to sampling beats. Because when I was using FL Studios, using Splice X or something like that, I don't recall, or Fruity Splice, I, I, one of those two, I wasn't really feeling. Like, I really didn't, it was just too complicated for me. I don't I, I don't know why, I, I, I guess I just didn't, I guess I wasn't feeling it. But uh, Serato Sample is my, is my favorite VST when it comes to sampling beats, sampling anything for that matter. But there are some other samplers that were like in deep competition with Serato. So we're gonna give them a shot. But before we do, I got some stuff that just came in the mail. I gotta check these bad boys out before we get into the video. So if you wanna see this part of the video, you just click on the timestamp below. It'll bring you straight to the comparison of the three samplers that we're gonna be checking out. Let's get into it. All right, this one is straight from the Funko store. So I'm not so sure what these are. I ordered so many, I lost track of what comes first. So let's see what we got. Ah, it's my girl. It's my girl Whitney. Yeah, man. Uh, the, the sticker was coming off just a little bit, but it's all good. Yeah, God bless her soul. I really wish she was here to see this. There's two versions of them, but I wanted to get this one instead. I think this one might have a, little, a lot more value than the one that's on Amazon. But who knows, I might get both. We got another one from Amazon. One thing I like about ordering pops from Amazon is that they're not very good with protective packaging. They don't add no bubble wrap. It's frustrating. So let's see what we got. Pull to open. So this is new. It's about eight out of 10 condition. There's a little dent on the side. I'm trying not to blow up because Amazon really ticks me off that they don't freaking securely patch. Yep, there's a crease right here. I'm sending this back. Yeah, got, got some damage on it. This is Queen Jewel Ramada from Black Panther. And it's so frustrating to have to wait this long just to get a damaged package. I've been waiting on this for like months. 
I think I ordered it back in October or November. And I really want to get a new one in great condition so I can get a sign by Angela Bassett, one of my favorite actresses. Hey man, Amazon, y'all really need to y'all need to get yourselves together seriously. I'm telling y'all doing this, man. I hate ordering pops from them, but there are times that you could get it quicker, cheaper. But I guess it's not even worth waiting that long if you're gonna keep keep shipping the damage. You know who? Let's get into the video. All right, guys, we're in machine right now. The first sample I got is Serato sample. This is my baby right here. This is like one of the most, if not the most popular sampler that I know of. I mean, you know, everyone's entitled to their own opinions. In my opinion, I think this is the best one so far. You know, at least the only one I've been using like for the last two years. But the only problem is over the time frame of two years, not much has changed. You know, there was updates uh, here and there. But nothing too major, you know, uh, it could sure use some extra features, you know, um, when I sample, when I chop up my beats, chop up any type of sample, I use separate multi-effects plugins. And um, that's okay, it's just there are times that like, you know, you're using separate plugins to create some type of sound. You know, sometimes it get a little tedious because you got to open one and then open up another and then another after that. And then you try to consolidate everything all together as one. Instead of just doing everything in one particular plugin, it'd be so much easier. And that way, you know, hopefully they come out with plugins like that that, you know, it'll be easy on the CPU, no latency. Be just right. So let me show you guys what Serato, Serato is, is all about. All right, uh, let's choose a sample. Yeah, so basically, you know, you're just adding your, uh, you know, the slicer. You're just chopping up in certain uh, areas. You always start from the downbeat. The downbeat is where the, is where the, the beat actually uh, kicks in. So in that way, you stay on tempo. So for this one right here, it'll automatically get the tempo for you. It's right at the top, 80.12 beats per minute. And I have it in sync with machine. So like the slicer at the beginning, or first, hold up. Yeah, start right there. That's where the down beat supposed to be. So we're going to select that one. And it chops it up based on the amount of bars you want. So it's one bar. So let me go up. You can change this. I think this is the slice mapping. You can change it. I think. Uh, let's see. That's too far down. No, no, not half a bar. Okay. All right, that's a little off. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to go back to... Uh, I'm going to select all and delete. Zoom in right there. Select. Eh. Missy have. Basically, how you chop them up. I mean, it's not that not that hard. That's why I like this one because it's so it's very straightforward. The simplicity on this plugin is completely amazing. It's made it so much easier for me to just flip samples. So what I just did right there, let me see if I can remember. I'm gonna try to see if I could use that one. So I'm gonna bring it the uh, bring it to 80 beats per minute. I'm gonna put 80 beats per minute. No, 80.12 beats. You want everything to be on point. And that's basically it. You also could change the key.
and um, best far as I can go with, with, with that plugin because it's like I said, it's very straightforward. It really helped me out sampling beats. But let's get into the next one and see what we made out of. All right, next we're gonna try the, uh, the plugin from uh, from Wave CR8 Sampler. Now this plugin came out when they were, when they announced the uh, that that other sampler. It's a sampler finder called uh, Cosmos. I did a review on that. If you haven't seen, if you ever checked that video out, it'll be a link in the description below. Drop the sampler here, like you can see the parameters. Uh, at the bottom, it looks a little bit more similar to their vocal bender. Uh, like I said, it looks pretty straightforward as long as it tells you what it is. You know, you use common sense and it'll tell you exactly what it says. So, we're going to give it a shot. I'm just doing this by ear. I'm improvising. I haven't read the manual. We're going to try it out and see what we come up with. We're going to use the same sample. Okay, where's the play button? Where are you? There you are. Oh, basically what you're doing is in this one, you're just taking any sound and you just turn it into an instrument. An instrument to play off your keyboard, your drum pad, or anything in that nature. And you can manually choose what part of the sample you want to turn into an instrument. That one's not so bad, man. I mean, I, I, that one has a little bit more features than Serato. And um, I'm like, I'm really digging it. You can change the cutoff. Okay. Add a filter to it. just created here hold up of course there's a lot more creative control with this plugin as far as for sample so i might have to get back to this one later but last but not least let's check out the new one that just been released not too long ago called momentum it's a lot much bigger than i expected oh free two gig sample pack and go ahead and get it it's free all right drop samples and kits here i guess we could use kits as well within the uh vst within the brand within the company uh, by Big Fish Audio. You get kits from them. It, I guess it's, I mean, this reminds me of Arcade. So let's see what this can do that Arcade can't do. Use the same sample. All right. Um, mixer. Okay, this is a mixer. Slice. Oh, okay, here it is. Ah, it already set up the, um, the slices. All right, this I have to learn how to do, so give me one second. Oh, okay, here we go, the grid. Half a bar, one-fourth of a bar. Options, okay, okay, okay. Now, now, now I see where we're going. Snap slices to grid. Snap start to end. Okay, and FX. Keyboard one. Oh, 
Oh, okay, I see, I see. All right. Mm. Splice effects, pitch, reverse, stutter, stutter. Hmm. All right, the, the stutter. Like I said, I'm gonna have to get used to it. I'm, I'm, I'm gonna have to play, play around with it. I'm clicking on stutter and nothing's happening. Trim. Nothing too. I don't see no undo or redo button around here. That's one thing I like with plugins to lack. Forgive me, guys. I'm I'm not really feeling this plugin. I heard it was supposed to be way better than Serato. I don't know. It's I'm not really feeling it. Anywho, let's talk about the three plugins anyway. Serato, Waves, and Big Fish Audio. Uh, the the difference between the prices is that Serato I think it's like a hundred dollars, you know the prices fluctuate based on the season, based on uh, the, the the time of the year. Uh, Wage I think it's about it's on sale for like ten bucks, which is not bad. Um, I'm feeling that one. That one's pretty tight. Now last but not least, Momentum. That one's free. Go ahead and get it. It'll be in the link description below. My only problem is. It's just too much on one window and having to like trim the the effects slicing the uh the samples flipping them and everything i don't know it's just way too small i mean they you do have the ability to enlarge the uh the, the gui but it's still not it's still not big enough for me i don't know if you could zoom in and out of the of uh, the waveform uh like I said, I have to use it a little bit more. What do you guys think? The, the, um, ah, I'm always gonna be down with Serato, and even and even even if I have to open up separate plugins to create effects and whatnot, then so be it. You know, you only do what you're comfortable with. Stick with your creativity flow, your workflow, and uh, if you're good at doing something that takes a lot out of you, but it's actually worth the process then by all means go for it hard work makes makes good progress in order for you to become better at something you got to keep practicing and that's what i got to do with these plugins so i really can't say which is the best one out of the three because since i'm very familiar with only one and there's other two that i'm not familiar with at all it wouldn't be fair you know so you guys let me know in the comment section below what you think is best but but these three are like one of the best ones out so far so you guys let me know in the comment section below once again, it's your boy John T. I'm signing off. You guys have a blessed one. I love you. God loves you more. Stay blessed and peace out.